use the equation editor on Google Docs so you can show your work and type things nicely for your trig project. So I've just got a Google Doc open. I'm going to go to insert and choose equation. Now my little equation editing tools pop up. And so you can just type in here like normal, like y equals 3 sine. And now when I want to uh, do something a little more complicated, I can use these menus. So I can uh, choose some parentheses here, and then I can choose a fraction. Notice now I'm sort of up on top of the fraction, so I can do 2. To get pi on a Mac, at least, you can hit option P if you're on the Chromebook or a PC and that's not working, you can go to Greek letters here and choose uh, pi. To get down to the bottom of the fraction you can use the right arrow or the tab key and so I can do 2 pi over 360 then hit the right arrow or tab again to get out of the fraction and so now maybe I want another set of parentheses and then I can do x minus 45. Um, then I can hit the right arrow a couple times to get out of those parentheses. I can add plus 45. Uh, when I hit the right arrow again, notice that little blue box goes away. When I'm inside the blue box, I'm editing the equation. I can use all these tools up here. As soon as I hit the right arrow, I'm out of the blue box, and now I'm just typing like normal. So this is my equation. It works really well. If I want to go back and edit the equation, I just click in the blue box and, and type the numbers. As I'm working along, then once I've hit that insert equation button, uh, now the equation menu is up here. If you want it to go away, you can click the X over here on the right. Otherwise, you can just click the new equation button uh, whenever you want to include a new equation. And so you can just start uh, typing again. Uh, I think that's about it. Enjoy. Thank you.